Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be learning about middle ground, foreground, and background. Here's a picture that I did before. So M for middle ground, the wall, and the table is middle ground. The background would be the window. And I guess you could count the, the wall background too if you want to. Um, and then the vase will be foreground. And I guess like this part will be foreground, middle ground, and background. And there's even more background in the background. Here's a demonstration of what I drew before. I didn't get to finish coloring, but I did finish. So we're going to be drawing that again. So first, I'm going to draw a little not too big, not too small. It's like this. I might start doing it for marker if I have to. An oval, just like this. And then I'm going to do a little shape like this. Curve out. And I'm going to make that starting from right here now because I don't really like that. And I'm just going to erase it. And then I'm going to make it go small from big to small again. And then just like stop. Go there and then go straight line. Just like that. I'm going to erase these because I made it wrong. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to get my eraser. Okay, there we go. I'm going to get my pencil on that one. I don't want to. So there we go. I'm going to make it a little curved in the middle too. Because that will make it a little better. So just like that. Then I'm going to erase it. And then I'm going to erase it here. And I'm going to redraw that. So then I just erase all of it. Just getting something. Okay, keep erasing. Going to so like that. You can make any kind of vase you want to. I did this in class, and I made one like this with a small curve. So I'm making this one with a bigger and longer curve. You can do the vase however you want, like I already said. And now, I'm going to do the table. Now, you don't want to make it look like it's just sitting on the top of the table on the very tip. So, we're going to draw one right there. Almost kind of trace, but just don't put it on. And then copy the line off and finish it on the other part. And you can, if you want, go across and then make sure it's a straight line. So, so you know, I didn't make a straight line, so I did it again. And now I'm just going to erase right there. I'm going to erase that part. And I'm going to erase the line in the middle. I'm just going to erase it right there. I'm going to get my pencil. Redraw the vase. Just like that. And then draw a darker line so then I know. I was meant to draw. Oopsie. Okay. And now, redraw this a little darker. Now you obviously don't have to put stripes. You can do whatever simple design, like in this one, I did stripes, because that's what my teacher told me to do. And I'm gonna do stripes again. But again, you can do polka dots, little small stuff, make sure you don't go all out. I mean, if you really, really want, I guess you can, but it might be a little harder to draw the apple and stuff, because then you have to erase it. 
Now, again, you can do any fruit, but what I'm gonna do is, a, is strawberries, two strawberries, and an apple. And I am going to be overlapping. So there, I'm drawing the line. And we never color first. I mean, if you're drawing a coloring book, then of course you color. But for this, you always are just gonna draw the whole thing, and then once you're done with the whole entire thing, and except coloring, then you color. So I'm not done, and I, now I'm going to start drawing. I'm just gonna draw the simple stuff now. So for an example, I'm not gonna do the flowers in the vase yet. I'm just gonna do the window right now. And of course, you can erase anything if you don't. If the flowers are going a little past the window like this, it's, it's going over the window because it's farther. So it looks like it's going over the window. It's not really. So I had to erase part of the window to make that flower look right. And again, you can make any flower, but I just did mine like this. I did the tulip and then two golden flowers. So I'm gonna draw the window. I'm just gonna draw one big square, and you can do it a circle if you would like to. And I'm also gonna do the window, so you certainly do not have to if you don't want to. I'm just being a little extra. I did this. But you don't have to. And now, I'm gonna do these little lines. For like, window part. Just so you know it's a window, not just a block. Like that. I know mine is a little uneven, but I'm just gonna do it like this. So here's my drawing so far. And here is what it's gonna look like. So, I've made the middle ground, foreground, and background. Here's the background. Here's the foreground. I mean, middle ground. Here's the foreground. Right? No, sorry, I got that wrong. Middle ground, foreground, background. Okay. So... Now, I'm gonna draw the flowers. And we'll do the details in the window. And you can make your wall patterned or colored. I didn't wanna color my wall in this one. It'd just be too much work. So, I'm going to start drawing them. Now you can do a smaller or bigger stem. But I'm just gonna do mine like this. And you don't want it to look like it's a see-through stem. So you're gonna erase that part of the vase. And then I can draw over it because I obviously erased some of the stem. And you're going to want to make it look like it's coming out of the pot. So you're going to start about right here and not just like cut it off right here and just start drawing there. And pretend like that part isn't even there. Just to start from right here so then it looks like it's going through the face. And you can make a see-through face if you want to. But I think that might be a little harder. You obviously can if you want to. I'm going to do it like this. And I'm going to do a different design though. And you can do any design if you're not going to do see-through. So then I'm going to do one here. And then the one in the middle. Now you can put as many flowers as you can fit. Or if you don't want to put, if you only want to put three like I am, or if you only want to put two or even one, then I suggest if you do do one, then make it like big. But I'm going to do three because it's gonna take up a bit more space and it won't be, it won't, the wall won't be left out. And it will look full, the paper will look full. So now I'm gonna draw the circles for each flower. So you can see right here, I did the circles first so then I could do the flower right here. And the circle shouldn't be touching the stem. See, I made it a little off of the stem. And in here I did a tulip, but I'm not gonna do a tulip. I'm gonna do one of these flowers. And for this flower, what I like doing is just keep on going over it whenever I make this kind of flower. 
Because then I think it looks really cool and it might look a little overlapped. And I really am not really overlapping. It's a classic flower. We always do draw it. And probably we still do. So I'm going to erase that part. This is. And now I'm going to do the other parts. Same flower here. And then I don't know what I'm going to do here, but I'll figure it out. So right here. Now this is going to require a lot of turning paper, but eventually it's easy. So you can do any kind of flower you want. This is not what the flower house is going to look at like, like the last part. It's going to look like this. And I'll figure out what I'm going to do for this one. I'm not too sure yet, though. Now, as I'm drawing, you see, I'm also going to erase some of the window. Because I still want the window to be on this side, so then I don't have to do too much overlapping and stuff right here. So that would be pretty hard. And again, if you want, you can do the window wherever you want. You can do the vase on this side. You could do the apples and the strawberry on this side or the fruit. Okay, so I'm almost done with this flower. There we go. Now I'm just going to erase part of the stem. So then it's like the stem is going all the way up and straight in there. You know, it's going in the middle. Because right now, we're just looking from the front. We're not looking from the sides and making it to 3D. And I'm not going to do much shading. And I'm not going to do blending either. But if you want, you can also watercolor it. Or even, I guess, you could do marker. But I suggest you don't. Because it's not like, going to be that good. And it will be harder to make stuff go together. And it will look dark. And it might see through the paper, too. Okay, now let's think. What should I do here? Hmm, maybe I could do a flower that's just triangles, like very sharp triangles. And then not like this, because this one is also a little bendy, but I'm just going to do very, very sharp triangles. And yes, it will overlap like this one. And I'm doing it upside down so I can show you guys and you guys get a better view. There we go. I'm going to fix this petal because it looks very strangely big. There we go. So now I'm done with the flowers and now I'll do the vase. So what should I do? I think I'm going to do polka dots for this one. Small dots, big dots. I'll do small dots first. No big dots. Let me get Now, I don't think I already explained about what like foreground and middle ground is. So I'm gonna go back to this picture. So background is just the background, it's in the back. Foreground is the front of the picture, the main part. And middle ground is just between, whatever is between and left from the background and the middle ground. I mean back and front. Okay, so I'm done with my polka dots. I did get a bit out of the lines. Once I color it, you won't be able to see anyway. So, 
I'm making her a little too. It looks fine. Now I will do some polka dots like this one. You can see that it's not flat. Now, of course, if you do a design that isn't polka dots, you don't have to do something like this. And you can just copy me for it. Because on this one, I did it like this. Little squiggles. And now that I'm done with that, I'm going to draw in what's outside and in the window. So I'm going to draw sun. Very bright one. Here it is so far. And of course, I'm gonna do some clouds. Some McDonald's and Burns. Birds. I'm gonna make it look like it's going a little in the window so you can't see half of it. I didn't really do that on purpose at first, but by the end, it kinda looks good. Make this one a big cloud so then it can go through like that and you don't have to make any go through if you don't want to i am um, of course you don't have to you don't have to copy me i'm just showing example okay now i'm done with the window so i'm not going to do a design a design in the back so now i'm going to erase Big splotches here. So it's a little easier for me to do the apple. And I'll know where it's going to be. And where I want it to be. Okay. There we go. And now I'm just going to draw the apple. Now, I'm pretty good at drawing apples. But sometimes I can, of course, mess up. Now, this one kind of I messed up on. So, I'm just going to erase it. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to erase all of the stuff that is inside here. And I'm going to be coloring with crayons, but mostly colored pencils. And then the other one, I did both. Mostly crayons, but I did some colored pencil, like the yellow there. And I outlined with a marker, but you don't have to outline with any other color if you don't want to. I just suggest that you do. Um, maybe not with black, but with the color like, like how I did it here was I, this was gonna be blue, I know, like a teal. But I made it green because I thought that looked cool. And for this, I didn't have the exact blue, of course, so I just outlined it with a darker blue because I thought that looked cool too. And it does. If you don't want to, you don't have to. That's how I did it and that's how I learned it. So now I'm technically just erasing the whole entire apple and then redrawing it so then there's nothing inside. Because it's kind of easier like that. Some other people might not think that. And now, so you can do an apple however you want. I don't know how you guys draw apples, but I draw them kind of like this. And strawberries, they're pretty simple. Just do a little, see there's mine. Do a triangle, but with not sharp edges like this, soft edges like these two flowers combined will make petals like this, like the strawberry. So I'm gonna add two of those. You can add as many as you want. I'm just adding two because it's gonna be easier and faster. So now I'm gonna make 
this one, overlap this one. And now we've got to do a little stem thing. So this is how I'm starting off with the stems. But I'm getting, I am going to make it a little more detailed. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to draw a little dot. And for the apple, I will do a little shine. You don't have to do the dot or a shine. But I did. Anyway. Now I'm done with that. I forgot that I was going to do petal leaves on this. So I'm just going to do that now. Now how I do leaves, if you don't know how to and if you're not familiar, then what I do is I do kind of a triangle. Kind of like the strawberry, but like not still kind of sharp so like these two come like this kind of like that would be a pretty good leaf like that one so i'm just going and then draw a line down the middle make sure it doesn't touch the tippy top like that we don't want that so yeah and draw it harder and then draw lines and then other lines doing it that way and if you don't want to do it that way you can do it like this too just if you want to go faster I do both ways, depends. So here's mine, and now I think I'm ready to color. Coloring is a very fun part. So I'm gonna go get the crayons and pencils. Got a little pouch thing. A bunch of coloring stuff. It's a unicorn theme. You might think that's weird, but I don't. So, I've got all these colors that I'm going to be using markers, pencils, and then crayons. So, first, I outline. I don't know if I should. I think I'm gonna. And outlining is one of the hard parts. It takes time. But I did really like the colors on the cloth, so I'm gonna do pretty much the same colors. You guys don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just doing them because I think, it'd be, I think it's gonna be better if you do. But you don't have to. Okay, so I'm gonna outline the table. It's a very cheap marker, so if it breaks in the middle of me drawing, don't be surprised. Now I'm gonna draw around like that. I don't know if you guys. So then it's a little more like I don't know how you call it. I didn't do that on the other one, but I am now. So I think it looks a little better. Like that. Now you don't have to do it like that, but I'm gonna, and you don't have to outline the vase and stuff. I just think it'd be a little better if I did. Now I'm outlining the lines. because that's very polka dot. Red and white remind me of polka dot. I don't know why. Probably because ladybugs. It's red and black, but still. So I'm going to outline face. So I'm just gonna keep the polka dots white and going to color 
Okay, I did a little without you guys and outlined the vase with red. And now I'm gonna outline the polka dots so that it will be easier for me to just color in like this. And I don't have to be like, okay, make sure I don't get it. So I'm just gonna outline them now. I'm gonna speed this up so then you guys don't have to sit through me outlining all of this. Okay, now that we're done, I'm gonna color it red. And I'm not gonna color it with marker. That one, that part was just demonstration, by the way. I'm going to color it with crayon. <clears throat> For right now, I won't do crayon, but sometimes I will do pencil. Okay, same with this. I'm going to speed it up again because this will take a while. No. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to do the inside of the vase because we don't want to forget that. Just color in. Like that. And this won't be too um, slow. So I'm just not going to speed it up. Okay, there we go. Here it is so far. And now that we're done with the vase, we're going to move on to right here. These. Okay, what color? I think at the same time, I'm going to do the same colors I did with, mm, but like with a more yellow yellow maybe. I don't know. I think I'll just do it with crayon too. So it'll probably be easier. Now this one isn't the same pink and it's not a pinkish pink like the other one. So I'm just going to use this one because I want to use crayons. And I do have a really pink and my pencils, but I'm gonna use crayons because it will work better. And you can use crayons, pencils, crayons or pencils if you want. Um, I suggest you don't use markers because that is gonna be a lot harder. You can use markers if you want to though. I just did to outline because it's easier to see them if it's an out, if it's outlining in marker than in just pencil or crayons or pencils, colored pencils. Okay, there now. I'm gonna do the yellow. Almost done. There we go. And now we're gonna do now. I think I might do the flowers. What color should I do for flowers? What did I do in here? 
So I did this because this is the classic colors also that I kind of like. So I think I'm just going to do the um, simple colors. I don't know what, like, though. And this time I'm going to use pencils. So I'm going to use pink for this flower. This one is just a very light pink. I'm going to sharpen it. Got to sharpen my pencil. This is hard to sharpen. Okay, there we go. Now I can keep on coloring. There we go. And I think I'm gonna make these pink too. They're gonna be like the same colors because I think it'd be cool and a lot easier if they are so we don't have to keep on changing colors. I'll just do this over there. Much better. Now I'm going to take our red. I forgot to outline them. See? Um, I'm not going to outline the flowers like this. Now this one is kind of an orangey red. And I think it goes good with the flowers. Now personally, I'm a girl that doesn't like pink and orange. And they're my least favorite colors. But they do look really good together, so. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to get a purple and color. Coloring is one of the fun parts, but very time consuming. But it's really fun so so it's kind of worth it and it looks very pretty at the end. So I think it's worth it. Some other people might not. Personally, I do. Now I'm gonna do a purplish red, like that probably can't see too well. You'll see it on the drawing. Like that. Kind of like a wine color. Like, kind of like, I don't know. I'm, not to be harsh, but a dead rose. I'm gonna make some extra little leaves on this one, petals I mean. 
so then it'll look a little better. Okay, there we go. Now we just have to do this step. Which we indeed both outlined with the green marker. Now in this, I outlined with a green marker, which you can barely see. It was like a light green. And then I outlined with a different and then I went with the same color, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to outline the stem, like just this stem part with the dark green and then the other part light green. This is kind of reminding me of Christmas because red and green. Okay, I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to get my light green and color the leaves that way with a light green. Now for this we're going to use pencils because I don't have the dark and light green crayon. Stem. No, that's already kind of light, but like a lighter in a different way, more of a yellowish green. This is more of a green green, and this is more of a yellowish green. There we go. And now I'm going to use yellow marker to outline this. It's like a highlighter yellow, but that's fine. I don't really care that much. We're gonna use crayon. And there we go, we're done with the flowers and the face, and now all we have to do, I'm not gonna color in the wall, but I am going to color in the windowsill, maybe, and maybe I might even put a plant. Nah, it's going to be too much work. I'm just going to now color the sun and color this like a brown, I guess, and color the sky blue. And I for almost forgot the apple and the strawberries. I'm going to do the apple and the strawberries first. There we go. Now color the little leaves on the strawberries. And now, yes, I'm gonna go all out and do the stem, little leaf there. And of course, I'm gonna do the little dots on the strawberries, little seeds, because it's gonna be perfect. I'm going to kind of outline them and then at, while I'm at it, because I forgot to. Okay, what now? And now I've got to do the stem, I almost forgot. So the stem and the leaf part, I'm just going to color in green with a marker because that's going to be a lot easier and it's a nice green. 
and we're almost done now we just have to color the window now this is as far as i got on this one i didn't get to color the window only got out on the sun but on this one i think i'll be able to finish because i've already done these and now all i have to do is the window right here okay so first i'm going to outline the horse and I am going to speed the outlining of the window up. Okay, now that we're done outlining, I'm just going to start coloring in the sky. And I will go over these with black. I think I'm just going to do marker when I outline them. So outline them technically because I'm not really going to outline them. I'm just going to draw them very thin because I want to make it look like they're very far away. And I'll still be able to see them, but only a little bit. And I know indeed I am coloring outside of the lines, but I don't really care because I'm also trying to go fast. Now for the other part. Okay, now I'm almost done. Just got to color in the sun and then color in the birds and then the windowsill and then I'll be done. I'm going to make the windowsill brown. Now I just have to color in the birds and I'll be all done. I'm going to create one right here because I think one should. Okay. 
Okay, and we're all done. And it, of course, doesn't have to look like this at the end. It could have any design on the pot, any design here, any design. Like, you can make different stuff in the sky. I'm going to just make clouds and birds. But you could have any design on the vase, different flowers, different stands. Here is mine. And you could have different fruits. I just did some two simple ones, and they're pretty easy to do. Hope you guys learn some stuff of how to draw and about foreground, middle ground, and background. Bye!